All right. So now we we have a, an influx of, and this is in part because they see a possibility of amnesty being passed, but and because of the Obama administration, these illegals are coming across. And yes, they're illegal immigrants. They're not undocumented workers. They're illegal immigrants. And no, I'm not a racist for saying what they are. I'm admitting what they are. So these illegal immigrants pouring across the border. And I don't know the layout of the land, but a lot of them have been pouring over the Texas border. And so ICE agents have been picking them up, putting them in buses, taking them to Arizona, dumping them. A lot of them are moms with uh, kids, and, and it's been a problem. Jan Brewer upset again, the governor of Arizona, PO'd. Migrant influx strains Arizona children's shelters. Ah, okay. They're going to come across the border. They're going to just – and oh, by the way – they're being released at the bus stations. They're supposed to just on, uh, well, on their word of honor. They're supposed to show up for court hearings. We're going to let you go, but you come back to this court on this day because we're going to have a hearing because you're in the country illegally. Sounds like a plan, huh? Children's shelters in Arizona are overflowing after the arrival of hundreds of Central American immigrants transferred from Texas the epicenter of a mass arrival of undocumented children characterized by the Obama administration as a urgent humanitarian situation. Okay. All right. All right. I'll give them that. I'll give them that. It's an urgent humanitarian situation, which he caused. Now let's go back in time a bit. Now, yeah, for Some of you might not be old enough to remember this, but Bill Clinton had become president down in South Florida all of a sudden, all these Haitian refugees started showing up. A lot of them didn't make it. Why? Well, because and Bill Clinton on the campaign trail said that if he won the White House, I mean, well, I, you don't just turn these Haitians away because George Bush Sr. was not allowing them to come to America. He was sending them back. And he had a reason for doing this. Okay, well, Bill Clinton, no, oh, that's a bad thing. No, you let these refugees come in. So as soon as Bill Clinton is elected president, Haitians start building boats out of whatever, rickety rafts. And literally, they try paddling and kicking their way across the ocean to get to America so they can become immigrants in America. Trying to get here, they drown. So Bill Clinton put up a blockade and started sending them back. Lo and behold, just like George Bush Sr. was doing. Well, once again, we have a naive president in office, a very naive man, and he thinks he's doing the right thing here. Now he admits we have a crisis. His words, he character, Obama characterizes this as a crisis. What we're going to do to solve the problem is we're going to grab a bunch of refugees from Texas and we're going to dump them in Arizona. Problem solved. Your government at work, ladies and gentlemen. The situation is also being felt in shelters in Arizona. Phoenix centers overcrowded with children who arrived alone in the country. The number of children crossing the border alone is increased more than 90% compared with just last year. Now, that's according to the White House Domestic Policy Council Director. The number of undocumented children entering the United States could approach about 66,000 this year. He says, not me, he says, that would more than quadruple the number over the past couple of years, according to official estimates. And let me ask the liberal talk show hosts out there, the liberal pundits on MSNBC, let me ask you now, if this was under the Bush administration, what would you be saying? And you would be right to say it. So why are you silent now? But obviously the system for accepting people is broken. This is the best this administration has? And if it wasn't for humanity, I mean, where is your government? For those people who look to government to solve your problems, where is your government in this solving the problems? You know who's helping these people? Really helping these people? Local homespun humanitarian groups. As always, it's the local homespun humanitarian, non-government groups that are showing up to clean up the mess once again that was made by your government.